If you are in any need of prayer or advice, make sure you comment or email. God bless you. I want to show you this video clip and it is from the Bold Soldier for Christ. So when you get time, what you should do is watch his other videos as well. In this clip here, he is going to speak about reaping and sowing, something I speak about so much. Even though you may be out of sin now, you may still have to pay for certain sins you have committed in life. And he is going to touch on that as well. So I pray that this makes sense. I pray that you take heed. God bless you. The Lord is coming. But he will not let me and you get away with sin. Those that love the Lord, he's going to chasten. I've done things in my past life, and I'm not boasting or bragging that I'm paying for it today. The Bible says you will reap what you sow. I've done a lot of bad things in my past life and couldn't understand why it was happening to me. But now that I am in Christ's kingdom and I'm his son, I understand why things are happening to me now that I did back then. I used to steal radios out of people's car. And after being saved, somebody broke into my car and stole my radio. I said, why? And the Lord said, you reap what you sow. I forgive you, but I don't forget. You're going to reap what you sow. See, people think we can get away with sin and will be the repercussions behind it. Ask these people in Hollywood right now that are being exposed for these sexual assaults and these scandals. Ask these pastors behind these pulpits that are being exposed for what they're doing with the homosexuality lifestyle. You're going to reap what you sow. But just like we are at the David, God, at the God's own heart, when me, and, when me and you start to um sowing what we reap, we will understand why now. When your spouses get to acting up, we can understand that back in our past life, we did people wrong too. When people lie on you, you got to understand, we've lied on people too. When we cheated somebody out of something, we got to realize when people cheat us out of stuff. It's because of what we have done. Me and you can't get away with sin in this final hour. He loves us. And he's cheering for us. And he wants us to make it in the rapture. But he has also given us free will. He's not going to force anyone to do anything they don't want to do. He did not make us to be robots. He did not make us to be yes -ums. He did not make us to be Uncle Tom's. He gave us free will. Just like he gave Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. He gave them free will. How, we, how will we use our free will in this final hour? I'm still dealing with the consequences of what I've done a while back. And I say, Lord, I understand. You must do what you must do. Yeah, it hurts. But now that we are truly born again, we understand. That's right, Dottie. Um, we can't fool God. You know, we can put the um, three-piece suits on. We can put the nicest dresses on with the biggest hats and walk into the church strutting up and down the aisles like a peacock with the sweetest perfume and the strongest cologne on, fooling people thinking we holy, but knowing we are foul on the inside if we're not asking the Lord to forgive us. You got people that will walk in churches and take communion in the day before in the strip clubs, 
sneaking around and come in on that first Sunday and take communion like nothing had ever happened and got the nerve to wipe their mouth off after they took, after they partaked in the, in the grape juice, saying, how you like me now? Don't play with God. Don't play with God in this final hour. I call myself trying to be slick with God. Lukewarm out there. Going to church on Sundays, but living how I want to live. And the Lord caught up to me, man. Almost, almost caused me to have a heart attack. I couldn't breathe. He allowed the enemy to almost... Uh, caused me to have a stroke because of how I was living. And my auntie, who was my pastor at the time, said, D, you better stop living in sin. I rolled on that carpet like a baby. Lord, help me. Help me. Crying like a baby in pain. Don't play with God. Don't play with God in this final hour. He will let other people know aren't even getting away with what they're doing. But me and you, we should know the consequences. We should know the consequences behind our sins. Don't let nobody tell you once saved, always saved. It's factual. Why you hear so many stories of Christians in hell right now because of that? You you think once you got saved, that's it? You don't got to do nothing else? The Bible tells us we got to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. He died on the cross once. He ain't doing it again. We got to do our part. You think you can just sin and not repent and ask for forgiveness and, and do it day after day? God, to take your name out the, land, out, the, out the book of life so quick, you wouldn't even know what hit you. That's why we got to be sure in this final hour that we know who we are in Christ Jesus. We're going to make mistakes in this walk. We're going to get upset in this walk. We're going to get angry in his walk. We're going to say some things that the Lord is not going to approve of. But immediately, we got to repent of. Make sure you forget. share this and subscribe. God bless you.